did you know today is Easter? That's right. The last two weeks have been leading up to this. Did you know that this is one of the most important celebrations in history? Week one, we learned that Jesus loves us more than anything. Last week, we learned that Jesus is king over everything. And this week, our main point is, did you know Jesus is alive? You, might, you may have gotten some Easter eggs, something with a bunny on it and some chocolate, but today is all about an empty tomb. For fun, let's play a fun Easter game. Let's check it out. So did you know that Jesus died for you and me when he came back to life? We need your help again. Whenever you hear this sound, we need you to cheer. Let's try it out. Okay, let's bring our very own Did You Know Professor. Oh, again, Professor Did You Know. Yes. You know, last week we talked about the triumphal entry, uh, Palm Sunday, where the Jesus came riding in on a donkey, yeah, and all the people were throwing their cloaks and putting palm leaves and and waving the palm leaves and all, singing Hosanna, Hosanna. Oh, it was a beautiful time, and everybody was happy, except something happens now. They get into Jerusalem. And the Jewish people are expecting Jesus to kick the Romans out. You know, the Romans were mean and cruel to the Jews. And Jesus was coming riding in as a king. And the people thought he's going to set up his kingdom and kick those Romans out. But Jesus told Pilate, my kingdom is not of this world. You see, Jesus' kingdom is a heavenly kingdom. Yes. <laughs> and so, the people got all upset because Jesus wasn't doing what they thought he should do. <laughs> you know, I'm, they were just upset. And now, here, these people that were saying, Hosanna, Hosanna to the King, and praise the Lord, and all this stuff. Now, oh, now they're upset. Now they turned against Jesus. Yes. That same crowd that was throwing their cloaks in the pathway and waving a palm branch and now saying, Crucify him. Crucify him. Oh, what a sad day. But Jesus knew all of this, you know. He came into this world to seek and to save the lost, yes. And to give his life a ransom for our sins, yes. That was his purpose. His purpose wasn't to set up a kingdom here. He said if it would have been, uh, my, if it, <laughs> I'm getting all excited now. <laughs> if, if it had been that I wanted to set up my kingdom here, my disciples would have fought for me. But no, that's not what my purpose is. 
My purpose is to die for the sins of mankind. Wow. Can you imagine that? <laughs> so Jesus now, everybody has turned against him. They want to kill Jesus. What a sad thing. But Jesus knew all of this. He told his disciples, I must go into Jerusalem because I'm going to be arrested. I'm going to be spitefully used, beaten, and then put on a cross. And there I'm going to die. Oh, that must have really shocked those guys, you know. But you know what? There's more to the story. Jesus didn't just die and put in a grave and that's the end of it. No, no, no. Jesus is put into a grave. A huge stone was rolled into the mouth of this cave to seal him in so that no one could get in. But you know what? Woo! On the third day, that stone was rolled away and Jesus came up out of that grave to show his mighty power against Satan and against the world. Well, I hope you enjoy that. I hope you know more about why we celebrate Easter. It's not about Easter bunnies and candy. <laughs> oh, no. It's about Jesus Christ rising again. Now you can sing Hosanna. Goodbye. Professor Digino is out of here. Yeah. Today, ask people, did you know Jesus is alive? Because Jesus was willing to give up his own life for us, we get to experience God's love, have a re relationship with God, and freely worship God wherever we are, just like we do here. And that's why we celebrate Easter. Let's check out our series verse. 2 Peter 3, verse 18a. But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Luke, chapter 24. First, it's important that you know what just happened. Jesus had just died on the cross to save us from our sins. Basically, Jesus had to die so that we could live. Because he died, we can have life that goes on and on forever. That's where the story picks up in Luke. Jesus was buried in a tomb it was early in the morning, and a few women were going to the tomb where Jesus' body was supposed to be. A tomb is kind of like a cave. This tomb had a giant stone in front of it. The women didn't know how they were going to roll the stone away when they got to the tomb. But when the women arrived, they saw that the stone had already been rolled away. They went inside the tomb, but Jesus' body wasn't there. They had a lot of questions about this, but just then, two angels arrived and asked the women a question. The angels asked them why they were looking for someone who is alive in a place like a tomb. The angels told the women that Jesus wasn't dead anymore. He was alive. The angels reminded them of Jesus' own words. He said that he would die on a cross and in three days come back to life. And that is exactly what happened. The women ran to tell everyone what they had heard and seen. They probably asked everyone, Did you know Jesus is alive? It's true! It's the greatest news of all time! Jesus is alive! Jesus rose again and is still living today! Did you know Jesus is alive?